this other topic of how do you retain people and grow faster because you want your people to give you know give discretionary effort go above and beyond mm -hmm. or push past so to make sure that everyone hits their goals like what what's the right um levers to pull to help that happen where you're actually motivating your team members to just blast through every goal that's set and we're talking about just this weird dynamic of generosity having a generosity mm -hmm. component and how that motivates people um to increase engagement and increase performance and yeah. i find that so fascinating but who's talking about that in every company you know who's kind of the the champion of how do we retain and develop our people and right. so yeah i'm we're all in on the whole the the fractional talent management side as well and uh so thank you for inspiring me with your catalyst catalyst vision um i'll keep wearing the shirt yeah so um anyway here to bring people along on the journey right it, yep. it goes into the abundance mindset and totally you know, talking to, I, I've talked to probably hundreds of people that want to go fractional or are considering, is that career for me? What does that look like? Yeah. Because it's a jump and it's different and it is much different than being full-time in an organization. Yes. You know, it's got, you know, it's what, got What are some of the things that you've seen, um, seen with regards to where things have gone poorly, where people thought, I like a fractional uh, in a grader and you're like this is not going well um what have you learned over the time like if somebody goes is listening to this and they i want a fractional integrator and you're like no you don't or you're not ready for mm. us or you're not ready for catalyst like what are some of the the kind of who do you who do we want to stay away from or who do we want to make self-aware enough that they are not ready i think that readiness factor is huge and i'm i'm always trying to suss that out on my discovery calls um when I start hearing things like people are like day to day in the weeds, scrappy, I'm like, that's not a fractional anything. You know, when you hear that, like I need someone here like all the time that doesn't equal part time then right. <laughs> like that's yeah. kind of a big thing is helping people figure out what the next step is. And everyone's at a different place also in their, their risk tolerance to figure out, can I afford or do I want to go all in on yeah. a full time yeah. or is fractional right for me? So I kind of meet and talk through like, what are your goals? How, how fast do you want to grow really right. determines. And a lot of times we're just a bridge as fractionals mm -hmm. because we can at least get in there. If there's, if they're like, I don't know, or I've been the integrator also, and I don't even understand how to amoeba myself into two separate roles. Like what yeah. does that even look like? Yeah. We come in alongside to be able to say, okay, this is what we would do. This is what you would do. Okay. We paint the picture. Yeah. And then that's when we can be like, Hey, Titus, they need you to help yeah. find this ideal person. Now that we've identified who they need, because sometimes they may think, Oh, I need an integrator. No, you, that's a, you need an assistant. Right. Or, oh, I need an integrate. No, we need sales to increase. We need some more sales reps getting right. our revenue up yeah. to be able to afford to hire this. Like, yes. it's just the strategy. Visionaries need a thought partner when mm -hmm. their thought partner is themselves or their spouse who's not in the business. Yeah. It, it's you're you're talking in a silo and you're not getting the right perspective you need to to grow appropriately. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the the crowdsourcing element of things like that. This is why we work so well with you guys. It's great. It's like different, like train cars connecting and you're like, okay, you're up now. Titus, come in yeah. here. They need a full timer. Um, it's cool. Well, it is so good to have you here. Um, it's nice to be in person with you and uh, hopefully we, it doesn't, we don't have to wait to the whole, another whole year to come to the next conference. But uh, mm -hmm. um, one day I'm going to get you in Mexico building homes with us. But um, That's right. Courtney went last year. I know. Quick thing. Yeah. So you know how it's the Titus Catalyst Fund? Yes. Not associated with us Catalyst, right? Yeah. Right? Yes. So Courtney on our team was newer at the time. And this is like, so I had said, oh, yeah, I'll go. You know, I'm in Mexico. Yes. <laughs> and then Courtney joined. And she is so passionate about you know, philanthropy, giving back and, yeah. and nonprofits and all of this stuff. And I'm like, oh, this is like her jam. Like this will fill her cup way more than it will yeah. fill my cup. So I passed the baton over to her so she could go. She gets y'all swag box of all the stuff. And she's like, 
they brand it's the catalyst of like she thought it was like branded custom branded catalyst for us and she was so impressed by by titus she's like they sent me like this hat with catalyst on it and they did all this i'm like that's how they roll. Like That's they're just they, roll. they custom logos. I'm for not everyone. gonna play into any <laughs> fact that we have anything to do with the way you could do, but if it gets associated to us, you know, that. I'll take it. Uh, well, that's us. We like, we like association with cool people, and you are the cool people that we want to connect with. So 